Now we're going to go through an actual example where you will do this on your laptop or your computer. Um, you do need to download the software. It's pretty straightforward. It asks you to register, but you don't have to. And I have check, already checked with the company that um, there's no restrictions on downloading this software. Uh, after you download it, you should go through the LT Spice Getting Started Guide and the User's Guide. But just read it loosely just to get an idea of what's going on in the software and what it looks like. But, not, but do not try to understand what's going on on each slide before you move on to the next slide. Really the best way to learn this software is just by doing simple examples and then when you need something look it up. So once we've downloaded the software and we run it we want to start a schematic and the way we do that is click on the schematic icon in the toolbar. Then we'll want to save it right away just in case anything happens. Uh, we can come back and we won't lose our work. And this example is voltage divider underscore right there. And of course this is my desktop and some of these uh, icons will be different. All right. Now we need a, that battery, the 3.3 battery that we were using. We need to place that so we'll click on this component icon and this pop-up will appear and we'll select voltage OK and then we'll be ready to place it on the schematic. And we just place it right there on the schematic. It's best to try to put it in the middle uh, so we can add things later. It's not too critical where it goes. And it certainly doesn't have to be exactly where on your screen where I've placed it. And just for some information, I have changed some of the preferences in LT Spice for clarity. Um, when you're using it, it should start up with gray background. Now we need to add some other components for our voltage divider. There's a shortcut for resistors right here in the toolbar. And you can click there and place your resistors. Uh, they're automatically numbered R1, R2 and they are not given a default value when you put them down. We also need to add a ground. We can put that there from the toolbar. And that's pretty much the components that we need. And by the way, if you've accidentally stamped down more than one voltage source or resistor, just press the delete key and start clicking on uh, things that you don't want. Now we need to wire up the circuit. We click on the wire shortcut in the toolbar. And we left click where we want to start to draw the line. And we can keep clicking on the corners to get it to draw. It does auto route to some extent. I would urge you to keep your schematics clean. They're a lot easier for you to read and others to read. LT Spice not only can it verify your design, but it's also documenting it as well. And to get out of long drawing mode, you just press escape. Each component needs a value. We were using a 3.3 voltage source. And we can just right click on the component and a pop-up will come up and I can put in a DC value right there. Advanced will give you cosines, uh, waves, pulse waves, and other advanced uh, settings. Right now we're just concerned with DC. We right click on R1, this pop-up will appear, we'll put in one mega ohm. And we do R2 as well and we'll put in the calculated 432 kilo ohms. Okay, once you've entered in any value just press OK and that'll be uh, fine. Now to make our analysis easier we want to give a uh, node voltage reference names all right um, you never if you don't name it it'll automatically put node one two three four and you're not quite sure how it will uh, assign it and so I want this to node to be voltage node one and I'll click on this icon and type in one press OK and then stamp it here 
and then in the same manner I'll put the reference voltage right there. And if I ever want to go back I can just right click the net name and type something else in. We're almost ready. Now we want to simulate it. And we need to, the way, best way to do a DC simulation of just one DC voltage is to click on simulate and the edit simulation pop-up appears and we just click on the DC OPT operating point tab press OK and we stamp it right there in our schematic and if you go to run your simulation and it gives you an error along the lines of I don't know what to simulate chances are you've forgotten to click down a simulation now it's easy enough to click run and this pop-up should appear with these voltages 3.3 volts is the voltage at node 1 which is the power supply that we set up 0.995531 volts is what we had calculated V reference should be notice the currents are equal and the current through the voltage supply is negative because it's giving power to the circuit rather than absorbing. Now you can do some design work on your own using LT Spice and the calculations. Design something for a 5 volt battery that produces 2.5 volts voltage reference while minimizing power consumption. And then for something a little more advanced we can verify how VREF changes when the resistance values change. Just because we've put in, and let me go back, 1 meg or 432K into LT Spice, when you go to make your circuit, resistances that you buy have a tolerance. They're not all equal to one another. And so we can do a worst case analysis where some resistances are 1% bigger and some resistances are 1% smaller. How much will V reference change? You can do it by hand and you should do it in LT Spice.